guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a foundation review on the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This is claiming to be like a light medium coverage foundation, um, very lightweight, and the shade that my mom has and that I use is 2.1 by medium with yellow undertones. This retails for $6.90 just like the cover coverage foundation. So if you want to see how this wore throughout the day, first impressions and the review between the both of us, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so today's review is the Serum Foundation by The Ordinary Colors. This is a lightweight serum formula. Mine is in the shade 2.1Y, medium with yellow undertones. And I'm going to read you the claims off the Decent website. Serum foundations are lightweight, medium coverage formulations available in the comprehensive shade range across 21 shades. So the shade range that I showed you in the first um, coverage foundation formula is the same matching to this one. Again, I will leave that right here. Um, these foundations offer a moderate coverage that looks natural with a very lightweight serum feel. These are very low in viscosity and are dispensed with a supplied pump or with the optional glass chopper available for purchase separately if preferred. So we do have a pump, which I do appreciate, like I've mentioned. This offers an SPF of 15. So this foundation is the one that I chose for my mom because she doesn't really like that foundation feel or doesn't need as much coverage as I do. So this is the shade 2.1Y again, and I'm going to shake it well because that's what it says, shake well before use. And I'll swatch you this shade. So here is... 2.1 Y. It's going to be a little warm for me. I'm going to mix in some of my NYX Professional Foundation Mixer in white. Just a little bit, just so we can get an idea of, so it'll match me. So I'm going to shake it and apply a pump. It's very watery as you can see. Um, the other cover foundation one wasn't as watery as this one. So I'm just taking this NYX foundation mixer in white and on the back of my hand and I'm going to mix this. This doesn't change the texture or the coverage of foundation, which I love. Okay, so this is the shade I got. I think this should be good. Um, I just sprayed my face with the Prep and Pine by MAC um, just to give my face a little bit more refreshment. So let's go in with this shade. I have my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. So far this is a pretty foundation. Um, again, I like more of a fuller coverage foundation, but I wanted to review this um, for my viewers that don't want a full, or they don't need the full coverage foundation, just like my mom. So, um, also I'm going to be applying this on her and doing a wear test with her also throughout the day so we can see what it looks like on my skin and on my mom's skin. Um, right off the bat, this is still pretty warm on me. Um, I'm pretty pale right now. Um, I, you do see some acne peeking through. Nothing too terrible though. Um, I think it's really pretty so far. I don't normally go foundations that aren't as full coverage as this, but I think this is like really stunning. So let's do the other side. So I am looking a bit, I wouldn't say orange, but it's just a bit too warm for me. Um, this is the shade I got for my mom intentionally and she has um, darker skin than I do. So let's just keep that in mind. Okay, first impressions. This foundation beauted, beauted. <laughs> this foundation blended effortlessly. Like, I don't really have much scarring or acne on my forehead, and it looks phenomenal. I wish my skin was as clear as my forehead and without all the scarring, you know? I'm gonna have to drag that down to my neck so it doesn't look as crazy. Um, but so far, the coverage is about. I think it is a decent coverage. It says it's supposed to be moderate coverage, looks natural, it's a very light serum feel. So I think this does have moderate coverage, whatever they want to call that. So I would say um, on the scale from light to full coverage, I would say it's in between like halfway of light to medium, 
which I do appreciate because people don't want to wear full face makeup every day. I understand that. Some people do and I applaud you because I can't do that every day. I just, I can't bring myself to do that. So I'm going to quickly apply some on the back of my hand, mix some more on that um, foundation mixer and apply this to my neck. So I'm thinking so far this is a really beautiful foundation. Um, not something I tend to gravitate to always, but if you're just going out for something and you want a little bit of coverage, I definitely think this is a great option. Um, again, this is $6.90 along with the coverage foundation from the um, Ordinary, and I think that is an amazing price um, because drugstore is kind of stepping it up with products and also raising their prices a bit. So I think this is a pretty fair price. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and do the rest of my face makeup and see how that went. Also, I'm going to bring my mom in and put this foundation on her and see what she thinks. Okay, so I just applied the rest of my face products and everything went on pretty well, just like how it normally does. Um, and so I'm going to do the, this foundation on my mom. Okay, so we have the foundation right here. I'm going to put that on my hand. Let's see if this will be a good match. Difference is okay too. Again, this is in the shade 2.1 wide, and we're using her L'Oreal sponge. So here's half of her face with the foundation, and here is half of it with it not. So what do you think so far? Um, I like it. I think what I like about the best is it kind of uh, minimizes like uh, your pores. I feel like my face looks smoother. Like like some makeup kind of gets in your, your pores. I think this went on pretty light, but yeah, it gave me good coverage. Don't forget by your ears when you wear a ponytail. Okay. So this is what the foundation looks like on my mom. Sure. Alright, we're going to apply some concealer and set it real quick and see what she thinks after that and give her what she likes in a foundation, what she thinks of this serum foundation as a first impression, and then we'll move forward throughout the day with the wear test. So we just finished, we just put some concealer on my loose transition translucent powder by number seven and put some brows on to take on your ideal perfect foundation what skin type you have and all the concerns and what you think of this foundation all right so so far um i do have oily and i guess somewhat sensitive skin i'm still prone to break out sometimes so i like for my foundation to be very lightweight. Um, I'm a fitness instructor, so if I ever wear anything, I don't want much on anything heavy. And again, like I said, I get oily very easily, especially across the forehead. Um, yeah, and well, not really my nose, it's just forehead and around here. And um, I've had laugh lines since I was 18 years old. It's a Hockaday trait. So I don't like any makeup to settle in here or around my eyes. And so far, it looks really soft and uh, really natural so um, so far thumbs up and we'll let you know later how it wears what do you think about the color i think the color match pretty good i kind of have a olivey uh more of a yellow tone to my skin um i had to tone mine down <laughs> because i'm pale okay so yeah All i right. still have pretty decent tan so okay so i applied <laughs> scoot over <laughs> okay so i put your face in here so I applied mine at like 11.30 and hers at, let's call it noon, because um, she had to take Lola to the butt. So we'll give you guys a wear test, let's see, at the 6 and 8 hour mark. 
We'll let you know how our oils are doing, our laugh lines. Thanks for that treat, Mom. Because um, the other foundation settled in mine bad. But um, so far, I'm liking this, and I think my mom does too. Um, we'll give you guys an update. See you then. Okay, guys, it is now 6 o'clock, so it's been over a little bit, 6 hours. Um, this foundation has held up a little bit better than the coverage one from The Ordinary. It's not as oily, um, but I am still getting the um, settling in my fine lines of my lap lines. Um, I didn't really do much today to make it oily or anything. Um, it kind of caked up around the side of my nose. Um, I'll scoot you in and give you a little bit closer look. Um, but overall, I really like the foundation, how it applied and everything, first impressions. Um, I think this might be great for more mature skin or people who um, just want a little bit of color to their skin, not so much coverage. So I'll switch you guys in and show you what it's looking like at the six-ish hour mark. Okay, here it is, super zoomed in. So this is what I was talking about with my smile lines. Right here, it's really emphasizing them, which my Estee Lauder Double Wear doesn't. Um, it kind of builds up around my nose and underneath. Not so much on this side. Um, I'm not that oily at all, which is a plus. Um, and I think it's very healthy. And then we are going to hear what my mom has to say. Just starting to look a, maybe a little bit shiny around my forehead and the T-zone. But it doesn't feel heavy. I will say all day long it didn't feel heavy or clogged or anything. Maybe just a little bit oily there in my forehead. It went on good. I still think it looks pretty good. If I was to put my blush on and go out, it'd probably still be good for the night. So to finish it up and we'll see um, what the final results are and let you guys know. Hey guys, it is a little bit past the eight and a half hour mark. Um, I'm looking shiny, but not as shiny as I looked with the full coverage one from The Ordinary. Still, I have some caking up around the nose. Um, it's kind of settled into my smile lines. Um, but I overall really liked the application of the foundation, how lightweight it feels, like you don't feel like you have much on it, on your skin, and I just think it looks really pretty. It's obviously not full coverage, but it, like, gives you a nice healthy complexion, which I enjoyed. So let's hear it from my mom. I like the product, like I said before, it's pretty lightweight. Um, I do kind of see it more settling and getting a little bit, um, more oily in here and in here. Um, but it was pretty lightweight and I didn't feel like it was heavy and like I needed to go wash it off like I do with some foundations. So probably for the price point and uh, coverage if you want more of just a natural foundation, this would be a good choice for you. Okay guys, so that is it. This foundation has been worn for the day between my mom and I um, for more younger skin and more mature skin. So let me guys so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this time change oh man i'm so tired like i want to take my makeup off right now but um so thanks for watching if you guys want to see any more specific foundation views then just let me know and um, i'll see if i can do that for you bye guys